Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to Earthbound, the war against Gygus. Actually a pretty cool title now that I say it like that when I was saying I wanted a lengthy title a little while ago. Last time, we made a little bit of progress toward brightening up the dreary town of Threed. Now that we had our buddy Jeff by our side. We took on the boogie tent and got a jar of fly honey. Whatever that is, and then learn exactly what it is. It is the favorite food of Belch, the boss of the zombies. We were able to get rid of the zombies terrorizing the area, but this time we go after the boss of the zombies and turn off the zombie faucet. Because if the zombie faucet isn't turned off, more zombies will just keep trickling in. We have this pathway very reminiscent of what Jeff saw up in Stonehenge. Presumably he told his friends about his travels up there. And these rooms. You are extremely likely to get into fights around them. It is so, so rare that by going out and coming back in, I am able to not get into fights. We have a new enemy in the form of the urban zombie. It's not really that threatening of an enemy. I stand by my point that the zombie dog is probably the most threatening regular enemy that you will have to deal with. Yes, took a bite using its poisonous fangs, just like I said. That's why vial of serums are sold in the drugstore around three. You might want to have that so that you're able to deal with these zombie dogs. He's just using a regular attack. If you have anything else that you would like to show us right now, speak now or forever hold your peace. Oops, you're dead, again. Return to the dust of the earth. Jeff grows a level? He's really getting up there in the levels, getting quite a bit of bulk built up. And, oh. Well, that stinks. We don't have a level of healing that is able to get rid of poison. If I'm not mistaken, and I don't think I am, has no visible effect on Ness. I didn't buy vials of serum because I thought I would be more or less fine. I think we're just gonna life up Ness and Hope for the best. Open up the casket. Ta-da! There is a Skip Sandwich DX inside. Politics it. I guess this guy has to be buried with his favorite sandwich? Stranger things have happened in this world. It doesn't seem too out of the ordinary. And, uh, wait, wait. Whoa! After I was saying that the spawn rates are very high, I get very lucky. Wow. And we also found a silver bracelet to step up from the copper bracelet. That'll raise Paula's defense by five points. I think I'll put that on her because I'm most worried about her being alive. How's Ness doing? Oh, ouch. That poison. That is really fast acting stuff. It does, I think, 20 damage every time you take a few steps. Oh, no! There is my penance for having a very easy last room. I had it coming. I'm sorry. I had it coming. I knew it. They really are wearing hot pink swim trunks. <laughs> oh man, I have just made their design a lot less cool by pointing that out. Uh, oh, okay, so Paula, never mind. I guess you can't do that. Wow, we are, we're having some problems here. We certainly are. Ness, I need to save your PP. Paula, go for thunder. Jeff, just shoot him. Put some holes in that sheet. Go on. Paula sure as heck ain't doing anything. I guess I'm trying to strike them with lightning in the middle of a cave, so that explains why I'm having such a difficult time. There goes the urban zombie. So what the urban zombie does is that it's weak to fire and flash. There are multiple ways of dealing with it. Um, it can do some turn wasty stuff like laughing maniacally. Um, it has does something mysterious, just like the Mad Duck has to suppress PP, but due to an oversight, it always fails, so you never have to worry about it pulling that off. It would be kind of threatening if it could, but it's not. By going up... Ness is all out of PP, we're doing it anyway. York, York! Since you had Fly Honey, I considered you a friend. But actually, you're just a commoner. I am the mortal enemy of your kind. What is the mortal predator of humans? Why? The mini barf. <laughs> Little did we know that whenever we get sick, we give birth to the mortal enemy of our kind. That's some deep stuff. This guy is really rough, actually. This is a fight that I sometimes lose, no matter how prepared I am. If you get bad luck against him, not a whole lot you can do, and the fact that I'm going in poison with no way of healing it on the fly, that's also kind of bad. I don't even have enough PP to do flash, which he would be susceptible to. I probably should have actually used a PP recovery item before I began this fight. Um, 
Oh, well, that's on me. I do have the cup of life noodles to restore it, but who wants to use a cup of life noodles on poison? I mean, come on. That's not that's not a good use of that item at all. He resists freeze, which really sucks. He's by himself, so you can't use thunder on him very accurately. He's actually weak to fire, of all things. You're not able to buy more bo big bottle rockets. I would recommend that you use the big bottle rocket on this fight and not on the boogie tent because it can instantly win the fight for you pretty well, but dead with the suspense, we're just gonna go for some regular ones. Give me that. And wow, he is hitting for a lot of damage. I think you're seeing why I find this guy so dangerous. Ness, you can do one heal and I think it best be used on Jeff. Paul is doing fire again. And Jeff, second verse, same as the first. Oh, we have a tiny little ghost on our side now, don't we? I honestly didn't notice. I guess I just slipped that the bit of text slipped past me, and there's also the fact that we're kind of in an all-black area, so I can't see around us. Yeah, his blast of very stinky breath will make all of you cry. It's extremely accurate. It usually hits my entire party, and is just in general not very nice. I'm kind of in a unique situation where I couldn't see that I had the ghost because I was already inflicted with another status. Um... I guess the defense spray on Paula so we don't have to worry about her. The defense spray is helpful in that uh, it is multiple use within the same battle, but it goes away after the fight is over. Um, actually, once you get to a point where you can repair the broken spray cans and get the defense spray, um, which is very easy to do because I was already able to do it before we were out of winters. Once you can just buy broken spray cans from Burglin Park with Jeff and the party, you can make tons of money that way. It's really, really easy. You buy them for like 100, you sell them for like 250 or something like that. That's pretty nice. I actually think I prefer that over the, uh, over the, um, over the, uh, fresh eggs. Let's see, reach out with his icy hand. We fire. Ness attacks. And okay, we make it out safely. That's pretty good. We better level up from that. That was rough. Jeff gets 19. Seems almost like it's a family tradition at this point that Jeff levels up at the end of every fight. I wanted to get your fly honey and gulp it down. Master Belch and I love fly honey, Gjork Gjork. And now you're dead. Actually, if he's horking down fly honey, does that mean that he's like a homogenous mixture of fly honey and other things because it would just kind of get absorbed into the liquid of his body? You must have a long rough toe to head it, road ahead of you, do not. No, there's no need to explain. I already know, you must be hungry. This is good timing for you. I had to be carrying something to eat. What would you like? I would have liked a vial of serum, but you ain't got it. Huh? By all means, come again. Ah, I just remembered. There is a village with many interesting people. Just ahead. You should go there and visit. I heard the name of the village is Saturn Valley, but it cannot be found on any map. What do I want to do is the thing. There is a magic butterfly. Thanks to that, I can keep Ness alive just a tiny bit longer. Probably should've done Life of Beta, actually. Well, yeah, we can do that. Actually, that was really stupid. I don't have 200 HP. I overestimating Ness. Oh, well, maybe it restored like three more HP than it would've otherwise. Ugh. Okay, well, we got fights ahead of us. Whether we like it or not, I'm definitely not fighting fit right now. Uh, if you guys have multi-target attacks, I would very much like to see them right now, but I know this game very well, so I know that you don't. We have the Farm Zombie, which is very similar to the Urban Zombie, but it is able to inflict colds. Similarly to the Urban Zombie, it's do something mysterious that's supposed to disrupt your PP will always miss. Secondly, we have the Armored Frog, which, true to its name, has extremely high defense. He is, however, able to drain your PP and not have it miss every turn, unlike the Farm Zombie. And it has that made something spin around attack that's supposed to block usage of PP, now that we actually have party members that are using PP in the same place as it. Essentially, it's a mad duck that actually works like it's supposed to and has a lot of defense to back it up. They're pretty annoying little nuisances, but I can't help but love their little faces. They just look so silly, and I like how they're shiny and they're armored frogs. They also kind of look like turtles. You're attacking. Uh, <laughs> the ghost got a smash attack?! You're dead! You don't have any guts left to fill your meaty insides! What? Okay. Alright, um... 
kind of wondering if I should just let Ness die at this point because I feel like he would be less of a burden dead than alive. I know it's kind of a mean thing to say with an earshot of Ness, but it's okay. He's a silent protagonist. What's he gonna do? Talk back to me? Level 24. Offense up by six, speed up by two, guts up by one, vitality up by one, luck up by one. Healing beta! How much does that cost? I think it's eight. I am one short! <sighs> you know what? I know that I could probably get out of here fine. I know I'm not in much danger. But this is the very scenario that I bought the lucky sandwich for. Let's see, is the lucky sandwich as useful as it seems? HP is maxed out. Whoa! Was that, was that the full HP PP recovery? Did I just get the 2% sandwich? I think it could only recover 20 PP or full PP, but if it did both of them, that <laughs> I am simultaneously ecstatic that I witnessed a 2% sandwich, but also kind of upset that I used it on this scenario and not on a more de desperate one. Okay, that's really cool. New enemy, the red antoid. True to the black, an black ants and red ants, they are much more dangerous. I gotta say though, I can't imagine an alien civilization that thought building robotic ants was a great idea would really be that. Threatening. Says the guy who got smash attack for 90 damage by a black antroid and almost got full health to death comboed by it. Uh, we're gonna do fire because the zombie in the back row is susceptible to it. They're not really that dangerous. They have pretty strong attacks and they're able to call for help. They are incapable of inflicting defense down, but they don't heal each other like the black antroids do. And with us just being stronger and no longer fighting by ourselves, they're not that threatening of an enemy. The elusive 2 HP sandwich. I would say that not many Earthbound players have ever experienced that in their lives, but in reality, that's just saying that not many Earthbound players have ever even used a lucky sandwich or purchased one in their lives. The protein drink is a new item for building a stronger, healthier body. It gives you a blast of nourishment when you are fatigued. If you drink this, you'll recover about 80 HP. Here it comes. In Japan... That wasn't a protein shake, it was called the adult drink. I'll leave your imagination to it on that one. When we go into this cave and we hear some really jolly pick-me-up music. Just when you're bobbing your head along to it and getting into it, it's time for the Violent Roach. I like his little shoes, they're adorable. <laughs> About as cute as a roach can be, and roaches aren't dirty and knitted its brow. Kind of its default state of existence if you look at its antennas like their eyebrows. <laughs> Vented a terrible odor, Ness's HP, uh, Ness's HP. Ness's HP went down by, that's a very roundabout way of saying that somebody took damage. Paula grows to level 19! You guys just can't stop getting stronger and stronger, but I like it, and we get fire beta! That's extremely helpful with what the enemies are susceptible to in the area. That's great. Just learning all kinds of convenient powers. Here we are. Curse you, magic butterfly. Welcome to the, I would say fan favorite, but this is Earthbound, so that's describing the entire game, the something or other Saturn Valley. We feel groove. Hi-ho, me Mr. Saturn. This place, are all, all our Mr. Saturn. I'm happy we're here. It's impossible to not just feel jubilant whenever you're in Saturn Valley. Do you want slumber? Hey-o. That's not a quirky way of saying okay. He's saying that because he actually KOs you so that you can sleep any time. It's convenient customer service for an inn. Healthy, full, and dendy. 
<laughs> if you ever need a pick-me-up, just come and read the Mr. Saturn's text. It's impossible to not smile at at least some of it. It is some of the most smileable text, I'm coining that term when talking about Earthbound. We get the broken machine fixed, and uh, we get the counter PSI unit. If you were thinking that my tip about the broken spray can didn't sound too helpful because you have to pay money to stay in hotels and Jeff only fixes items if you stay overnight someplace, here's the answer to your critique. And it looks like we have reached the limits of what Jeff's IQ is able to achieve when it is only... 18. That means I was just barely shy of being able to repair those other items. Very pointlessly, right next to the inn, I'm Dr. Saturn Zoom, and I can repair your body. Boing! Do you want me to operate on you? Ding! Seems legit. You all fixed up! Goody! Boing! Uh. No. Hello, it's your dad! You're going to break my vocal cords and and their ears game. What are you? <laughs> it's a Mr. Saturn in a trash can. <laughs> All right, a lot of you have been sending me when this happens to you, and every playthrough, I see one new scenario of this text box popping up that I've never seen before. It's why I recommend playing with restore points so that you never quit out of the game, because it's every two hours that you've been playing that you see this. But, wow, this is a good one. <laughs> I think I was thinking earlier how funny it would be if this happened when I talked to Dr. Saturn in particular. Uh, Alright, good. The ghost went away. I was a little worried that it didn't because of the phone interrupting us and it not despawning yet. Uh, Dr. Saturn is a rare example of a character not being a named character in Japan, but them making him into a named character in the American version. Not something that you see very often in localization. Once upon a time, we were many, many, everybody, slowly, our less, less. Why? Hmm. Boing. Present on top of a ladder, because why the heck not? A rest promoter inside, politics it. As a kid, I I don't know how I did this though, but I always misread that as rust parameter, and I thought that a parameter was some sort of measurement tool. I doubt too many people have had that experience, but it's like, sudden guts pill. That's a cool item. So guts determines your chances of hanging on with one HP and your uh, chances of getting a smash attack. A sudden guts pill will raise your guts by a lot for the duration of one fight. Protractor inside, not quite as exciting. Like I said, the Protractor does not have a secret use. A lot of people think it makes Jeff repair items more common, the more frequently. Not the case. Broken spray can, on the other hand, that is welcome in my inventory any day of the week. Throw that right into Jeff's lap. I like to imagine that um, every time that they get anything that's broken, they give it to Jeff, no matter how minor it is, just to give him something to do. Like, you know, oh, here's a broken bottle cap and a broken sandwich. <laughs> Here you go, Jeff, have fun. Uh, it's not too unlike what my family did when they learned that I was able to fix computers when I was eight years old, and they were just like, oh, you know, we're not gonna actually learn how to use a computer, it's just easier to make you do it. We look, we look like same. I give you a special thing. Not now, Zoom. I give you on way back. Boing. Bye. Later. Base secret. Base behind Creeper Falls. Password? I tell. Belchman say, say password. Then, stand still. Wait for three minutes. That sound effect makes everything creepy, even when Mr. Saturn is talking. So, Boing, you have $380. We trade Secret Herb. We've already seen that in uh, Happy Happy Village. So, Boing, you have $1,780. We trade Horn of Life. The Horn of Life is the best status healing item there is. It is a cup of life noodles, but it restores the dead back to full health. And the fact that you can actually just buy them here in Saturn Valley is kind of nice. It's a little bit strange how they hit it. Wait. I can't skip over this. Scary, scary guy, boing! Grapefruit Falls! Scary, sick Barfy! Go and la la la! Ding! Scary. <laughs> Barfy. <laughs> Barfy. Sorry, I can't. And also, pointless little edge. Because why not? It's Saturn Valley. Do you need a reason to be happy? No. You sprawl out on that for the whole afternoon and just stare at the sky and smile. It's great. I love this place. Alright. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so it's a little bit weird that they hid the... I didn't mean to walk in the door, but all right. It's a little bit strange that they hid that inside of just some regular NPC dialogue. Oh, come on, this thing doesn't talk to us. It's clearly Mr. Saturn technology. This is the ATM, and I think it's really funny that it prints money. I'll take that. Hi, hi, you come buying. You can sell too. Hi, Mr. Saturn boing. Can do all for you. What you wanted? What you want, Zoom? What you buying, Zoom? The Bionic Slingshot! 
is another inaccurate item that anybody can equip. I don't recommend it. Travel charm we already have. Great charm, Ness and Jeff do not have. The silver bracelet, we got one for free in the dungeon. But I think we might as well buy two of them. We'll carry this burden. Who have the burden of more of more defense indeed? Copper bracelet. I think zoom about price. I have something else boing neat. Red ribbon, zoom onto polycranial cortex. That's a little bit too big words for Saturn. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm still working on my Saturnese dialogue, all right? Um, I, I, I apologize. I just walked into town a few minutes ago. Still getting used to your whole culture. Trying to learn. I would love to learn more about the complexities of your people. Jeff will take the great charm because one defense point is definitely better than not. Silver bracelet on Ness. Great charm for Ness. I do not need anything else here. But I might need something here. Insecticide spray we've already seen. The stag beetle is an item that is single use and makes the enemy's body solidify, making them waste their turn. Not a great item. I don't use it much. And you know what that means? I'm going to buy one of them and see how it goes for me. Actually, I don't think I need to do that. I think there is a free stag beetle that we're coming up on in my inventory space is pressure. Going to buy? Don't buy. Zoom. Is there anything else Zoom else need? Peanut cheese bar is an HP recovery item. Definitely something that I found very strange, and wouldn't you know it, the Horn of Life is not locked behind NPC dialogue. That guy is just doing very eccentric marketing for the store that is up the ladder. Uh, Secret herb we've already seen. We can also purchase picture postcards if you would ever want them. I was thinking about buying a Horn of Life, but if it's just a normal store item, I think I can just merely describe it to you. Now, I think, if I am not mistaken, and I don't think I am, Three, it is zombie full. I saw bad stinky behind grape behind falls. Zoom. Bad stinky zombie full. More Saturnisms. Lots of friends taken behind falls. Why? Why? Boing. There is some unused text with the Mr. Saturns hinting at another Saturnism in addition to boing zing, uh, boys, boing zing, boing ding and zoom that we've already seen. It would have been another word that they would have ended sentences with, and that is Chattanooga. And I agree, Chattanooga is a very, very fun location to say. Personally, I think it sounds like some kind of cheesy dish or something like that. Uh, but that is Saturn Valley. We made it all this way. And I think we're pretty good. We are well equipped for the road ahead, and we have heard what we gotta do to meet Master Belch. Next time on Earthbound, we head back out to that place that is apparently called Grapefruit Falls, and we see if we can do something about the zombie problem. See you guys then.